Deb Cooper with the Canine Chronicle. And today we are going to go over with you a little bit about the Great Pyrenees. I'm here with David Doherty and Lowen Irons, proud daddy of Tipsy. And David, tell me a little bit about this breed. What makes a Great Pyrenees appear? Uh, what makes a Great Pyrenees is, uh, you know, the body structure and what their job is. Um, they were put together for a certain reason and that was to guard livestock and the livestock becomes you, your kids, if you don't have sheep and those sort of things <laughs> also. But they're a very intelligent dog. They have to be self-thinking. Uh, so the head is shaped a certain way uh, to keep that brain size. Um, they have to have a wedge-shaped head, nice uh, dark, uh, dark brown eyes, almond-shaped, um, you know, the body is not too long. They are just slightly longer than tall. Mm -hmm. uh, moderate bone, not to be too big. They have to be able to move out uh, across the pasture if a, if a wolf or a coyote or a bear is moving in. So you want them to get between um, the wolf and your, uh, your sheep and that. But they have to be very smart. Um, this is a very uh, majestic breed. When you look into their eyes, you should uh, see the look of a very thoughtful, soulful dog, and they actually look into your soul also. So that's how they read the, the, the intention of the wolf or the coyote. Nice wedge shape, um, you know, you shouldn't have, there's got, not gonna be any apparent stop, and that's this area in between uh, the uh, occipital ridge here. So, you know, nice smooth head, it's not Kuvaz style, it's just a nice beautiful wedge. Okay, so we got nice shape to the head. The ears, corner of the ears set to the eye. Uh, they can be badger marked, which is these markings here, mm -hmm. the, the dark or the tan. Uh, some of them do fade out a little bit as they get a little bit older and then they'll come back when they get old. Um, so, you know, nice thick muzzle, not too overly done. Uh, scissor bite, um, you know, come down the front, should be a nice 45 uh, degree angles in the, in the front. Mm -hmm. And I'd like for a judge, when they're gonna come up to these guys, don't come up as uh, being ominous on them. You know, these guys evaluate very quickly. Uh, they have to. Uh, so when you're gonna approach these guys, you know, I, I don't like for anybody to come up to them over their head. Uh, like any dog, they're gonna wanna know what, you're, what it is that you're doing. So just come up to them, pick up their head. You know, the, the exhibitor normally shows the bite, but you know, just pick them up and just be matter of fact about what you're doing. Don't be apprehensive, don't, um, I don't want you coming up and looming over them. You know, this is a breed that is protective of things and themselves. So, uh, you know, just go over the head. Nice, um, uh, moderate length in neck. You don't want anything too long. This is nice and thick here. If the wolf or the coyote gets a hold of that, we want them to get a hold of the hair and just loose skin. There's no vital organs in here. So uh, if they get a hold of that as they're fighting with these dogs, um, they're not going to injure the dog in okay. any way. They're going to lose a little bit of blood, but not anything too critical. Mm -hmm. Nice top line, nice level top line, not too overly long. Um, bitches, you'll see just a little bit more in the loin. Uh, if we're breeding them, that's what we want them for, <laughs> okay. okay? Perfect. But just slightly longer than tall, um, not, not over, overdone. Uh, same 45 degree angles in the back end. And one of the characteristics would be the double dues here in the back. Um, I'll come around the other side so you can see it from the camera here. But they do have uh, double dews back here, so there's two nails. And actually, when they're in a mountainous region, uh, a lot of hills, rocks, things like that, those are actually more functional, more prominent. So they actually use those to help grip Interesting. on the side of the mountains. Because, okay. you know, the sheep, sure. well, they're going to go climbing up the side of a mountain. These guys got to be able follow. to somewhat stay up with them. And I mm -hmm. don't expect them to go scaling the side of a mountain, but stay close. Um, but they, they work on their own. So, you know, the uh, sheep herders are not directly with these guys, uh, and they have to be able to think on their own. Great. So they're a very intelligent breed. Wonderful with kids and family. Um, gentle giants. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great Pyrenees, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.